What is going on everyone? This is Hydrox today and welcome to episode 382 of Backer Noise. That is one more in 381, one less in 383. We are right here in May of 2021. Boy, time goes by fast. So we have a question of the week for everyone. And your question of the week is, you are suddenly forced to join a band. What is your role? So, in a friend group in the past, uh, I would say I'm definitely so part of the friend group. I word things incorrectly all the time. We had a joke about a band and that we all played the Spoons. Uh, and a few of us might have played an electric triangle. Uh, but... If I was suddenly forced to join a band, I have minimal acoustic guitar experience. Um, so it would probably be like, all right, I can <laughs> occasionally come in with a few beats of or a few strums here. I, I know a few chords, uh, and that's really about it. Definitely a mod vocals person. Um, I could probably smack a drum a few times and won't know what I'm doing exactly. But yeah, I feel like maybe like a backup backup guitar. So like maybe like four like if I could be a backup 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 guitarist in a band, I feel like I would be fine with that because what are the odds that it makes back down to you? Right? So what I mean is like, alright, so you have the main guitarist. And then like if the main guitarist isn't there, the backup. And then that guy's not there. The backup is back for the backup. But I'll be the backup for the backup for the backup. And I think that's where I would slot in very nicely because by the time it gets to me, the call they know the quality is not going to be great. So the expectations are already low enough. So when I do not play well, everything's just fine. You know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. Yeah, so anyone in Twitch chat, feel free to say what role in a band you think you'd play. I'm very curious to see if anyone has any hidden talents they have not told us about in Twitch chat. Or if everyone is more like me and they're like, please just let us be like a fifth string guitarist. And not have to worry about actually playing guitar or being a part of the band. I, I could do very poor vocals as well. So, like, they're not going to be good. But, like, if you need someone to do it. Like, maybe I'll slot in the band as the fourth string of everything. Um, like, I'll be the fourth string vocals, fourth string guitarist, fourth string drummer. Imagine, like, walking up to, like, any famous band of the day. Like, even... This any band. Whatever pops in your mind first, that band. And being like, alright, listen. I want to be... Fourth string. And they're like, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? And you're like, alright, so you know how in sports, there's a backup. I want to be the fourth guy in line in case the first three guys and or girls have an issue. And can't come to the show. But not like the set. I don't want to be the backup. Because the backup has to be near, like, nearly as good. Right. Like, the backup has to be serviceable. The backup backup is like, ah, we really appreciate you stepping up. And the backup 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 is someone you just needed a warm body for. I can be the warm body. That's, that's exactly where I think I can slot into a band the best. Is by being... The band's designated warm body. I think any band that needs a warm body, I could help. If you need an actual uh, useful band member, though, ooh, I cannot really help out too well. I'm gonna be honest. But when it comes to the backups, or the backup backups, or the backup backup backups, I got you. Got you. Yeah, so very curious to see if anyone in Twitch chat um, has 
any type of thing that they would like to say that they would be part of that band. Uh, if not, you know, that's that's rad, you know? Maybe maybe you keep, you're like, I, I don't know, man. I just, what part of the band would I be? Like, realistically, I would love to be... Like, I'm like, alright, so hear me out. I will be the band's hype man. I will be your PR guy. Like, is that a member of the band? If I was forced to join the band and I was just like, I can do your PR stuff, man. Like, I'll, you need someone to run you that social? I got you. One hondo. Hondo and 50, even. All me all day. Yeah, so that is all I really think I have on that. Um, I'm just hoping everyone, first of all, is having a wonderful evening. We have a little baby pickle weasel in chat by Zell. Zell, thank you for the pickle weasel. Zell, if you are still listening, what role would you play if you were suddenly forced into a band? What role would it be? Sheldon as well, my friend. If you guys are suddenly forced into a band, what role would you pick up? I said that I would be hype guy? Exactly. Yeah, hype guy is where I would love to slot in. Hype gal? True. You know? Trumpet. Oh, trumpet. Sheldon, have you played trumpet before? Oh, I don't know if that, if you have, I don't know if that's something in school. Oh, so you actually have a little bit of music experience then. The most music experience I had, like I had mentioned before, hey, um, is I have played a little bit of acoustic guitar in the past. I own exactly two acoustic guitars. I've been bonked. Uh, hell, bon bonk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Scott is life, true. That one, the one that doesn't touch music, Evo. <laughs> um, what do you? I I don't know if that means Colin would like to come down. Hey, wake up! More than welcome to join if you'd like. Uh, yeah. So I. Shell Daddy, I don't think I knew that you played. Oh, you could electric uke. I, I do remember that you bought a uke in the past. Um, uh, I'm going to yoink. I'm going to yoink you because I didn't know if you know how to get in or not. Yeah, I still don't know the code. <laughs> oh, it's uh, very, very secretive. So, Colin, we are currently talking about our question of the week. If you were suddenly forced to join a band, what role would you play in the band? Uh, well, I actually used to play Alto Sex. Uh, oh, so, so you're actually useful. <laughs> it's been a long time. I would, I mean, if I definitely would again if it was a uh, thing. Yeah, you're I'll suddenly just forced into it. So, uh, so so far we have Sheldon on the trumpet, Zell on the uh, electric uke, me with the very limited acoustic guitar experience, uh, and we have a sax. All right, we're, we're making this. This is happening. No, <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, this band is uh, turning into a band. Uh, so issues. We don't have a vocalist. Um, it sure as hell is not me. Um, yeah, you really don't want me to say. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, so, like, I, uh, off the top of the podcast, I was saying that my ideal role would be to walk into a band and be like, I want to be your fourth string backup guitarist. <laughs> so it's like, I want to be your, the main guy's backups, backups, backup. So, like, by the time it got down to me in the order, they weren't expecting much anyway. I mean, I don't know. At that point, why not just be a roadie? Oh, well, you don't I, even have to. Yeah. You can be part of the band without being part of the band. You know? It's true. I was also saying that I would uh, be very happy to be their PR guy. I will. I'd be like, I can do your your any public relations info you need. I got you. 
Need someone to run them socials? Bam. Got you. I can do that. I can help you. <laughs> That's probably my best role, uh, to you not screw things up. Um, but, you know, you never actually know. Um, man, Twitter is a weird place. You ever just oh. open Twitter? Oh, you don't have Twitter, right? Yeah. Probably I, better that way. I looked at that uh, toxic sewage waste of a pool, and I uh, decided not to dip a toe in. You know, I honestly cannot blame you. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I... I just, like, you know, like, it's sort of like the same thing for me as, like, scrolling Reddit real fast. Um, or anything like that. Like, I just scroll Twitter, and it's like... I opened Twitter for a second, saw something, now I'm closing it again. <laughs> it's just like... Well, that was a mistake. Close. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Mo like, sometimes, like, I... So, there is an account that just pic uh, posts pictures of adorable cows. And they follow okay. them. I see that. So, usually, uh, if they lead off the Twitter feed, I'm happy. Because I, I look at them and I'm like, ooh, those are some cute cows. All right. Didn't know cows got that fluffy. Adorable. Uh, and then it's like, all right, now we can close Twitter and not be upset. Cool. Uh, you know, like, I actually am realizing I haven't actually, like, browsed Reddit in a long time now. Yeah, that's what I use Reddit for that stuff, honestly. Like, it's just so much. Uh, I don't know. It's just so much. It's a lot easier to filter out the shit you don't want to see or the shit for just the toxic people. Yeah, you know? I, I feel like that's fair. Because for Reddit, you can, like, really uh, search based off of, you know. Like, it will also, like, probably... Like, my Reddit at least sorts off of stuff that, like, I am part of their subreddit. Yeah. So, um... Mine's a lot more, like... I don't really, like... I don't subscribe to a lot of subreddits, but mm -hmm. just, you know... I've always liked Reddit because... It uses my data, and it generally pushes me towards subreddits I am interested in. Like, I might not, I might not, like, subscribe to r slash aw, but yeah. I've liked enough of their posts that I get a decent dose of it in my daily scrolling. Exactly. It, it still pops up. You get, like, you get your, you get your adorable little, little animals. Um, r slash aw is a way of life, and I won't hear anything about it. Yeah, I got no problem with it. It is, uh, if someone had a problem with r slash aw, I'd be very confused. I'd be like, what? Why okay, you, to be honest, I actually, what, I saw a, a guy on Unpopular Opinion, the r slash un, Unpopular Opinion, that was talking mm. about it, and he was really pissed off that people kept, uh, babies. Like, he kept seeing, like, babies in there, and he's like, I go there for cute animals, not for babies. And I'm just like... Sure, I feel that. What is wrong with your brain? <laughs> like... Yeah, I like it, I, I like both, you know. You can you can also scroll past it. Yeah, that's like yeah. <laughs> not a Reddit is known for scrolling, and uh, if you don't know how to scroll past, that's the thing I, th I found funny about it. It was just you know most people were telling him he's a f was, most people were telling him the exact same thing. Just scroll, ignore it. Like. <laughs> what? I, I don't you understand that people scroll this. It, you're not supposed to lock like, into one post for too long. <laughs> well, it, like, Reddit is almost literally the antisocial social network, because you can just yeah. ignore whatever you want to, and it's fine. <laughs> like, And it's sort of expected as well. Yeah. You know, like, know what I mean? Like, no one's gonna be like, oh, you scroll Reddit? Well, you don't look at it? No, everyone's gonna be like, yeah, I scroll Reddit from time to time as well. Like, um, no, one has, no one has a problem. Like, yeah. Everyone scrolls Reddit. It's just it's sort of what you do when when in Reddit you scroll. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just I don't I don't get the Twitter thing. Like I understand I, I don't know. I, I understand like I understand some people having it like if you're not going to tie your like self-worth into it. But like it, it's just like uh, one of my favorite YouTube creators, Lindsay Ellis, just closed hers. She, she deleted hers uh, after. Like, 
if you have any kind of like brand I honestly I I would hire a company because it's not worth having to deal with that amount of the just ass hats every day just doing it just to piss you off you know like yeah that that sort of also coincides with what I was going to say uh if it wasn't for having like being like twitch or like streaming twitch uh and occasionally doing youtube content i don't think i would have one right now um but it is it is a good resource to put yourself out there and get more people to see you oh Um, definitely i'm not saying it's not i just once you get once you get to a certain level like of just you know if you're big enough yeah if you're big enough i honestly like don't think it's worth it at that point to just because when, when you get that big there are people that will just see you and for whatever reason or another just just take time out of their day to make you feel like a piece of shit like you know yeah that's twitter is definitely one of the more and like i would if anyone like in twitch chat or anything had a uh, another shout would love to hear it um it's definitely one of the more toxic social media platforms like not that like Facebook or anything can't be toxic, but it's also, again, uh, plays into, like, an- anonymity, where, like, Twitter, you can make 15 Twitter accounts that just keep getting blocked by the same user and just keep making them and keep making them and keep making them. Yep. Um, but it's, typically speaking, your Facebook account is linked to your actual name, and you're probably less likely to be a dick doesn't mean you won't be. People, obviously, you know, people who are jerks are usually jerks <laughs> so you know what i mean like it might carry over on like social media but um and like i honestly don't use like instagram a whole lot so i don't know if instagram's bad at all uh when it comes to like toxicity uh, i would have to ask someone that uses it more often uh for that one do you are you, are you much of an instagram person either no, I no. I've never had Instagram or Snapchat. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I don't know for Instagram to be honest. Um, Snapchat as well. Like I use Snapchat, but I don't use uh, like their like posting features and stuff. I use Snapchat to talk to people. Um, yeah, I don't know. I always think I just I don't like it. Should either be impersonal or very personal, like, where, like, most of the people you're interacting with are people you would interact with anyway, you know, like, Mm. for me, Twitter is this weird mix of, like, you have the, you have the ability for trolls to just nonstop assault you, but you also have to put your face and your, like, a bit of yourself into it, you know? Definitely agreed. Um, yeah, like, I wonder if, uh, like I always wonder if there will be like a new social media platform that'll explode, because you never. I guess we never really know. Okay, um, I guess TikTok is the most recent. one. Yeah, that's 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 definitely uh, a good shout. I think TikTok would be the most recent social media platform to like get big, because it's been before that. Like, was it Vine? <laughs> Not to be too funny. But, like, it might have been. I don't know. Um, By the time I got into Vine, it was about to shut down. (laughs) Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's always the unfortunate part. Um, It's just like, oh, I'm into... What do you mean they're taking it away? I just... I just got here. (laughs) I thought... It made me laugh after a while. It was just kind of like... Kind of the way it is. Yeah, no, it, it is, uh, it's like, alright, fine, you've broken me, I will download Vine, I will like Vine, whatever. What, wait, what, what do you, what do you mean they're taking it down next week? <laughs> what? <laughs> but I just got into it. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not angry about it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not burnt. Hmm? <laughs> I'm not burnt. I'm not scalded by them. Whoever they are. <laughs> the beast. Exactly. No one hundred percent. Um. 
Yeah, and again, pose and question of the week out to Twitch chat. If anyone in Twitch chat pops in, feel free to give us a shout on what exactly you would play or be a part of a band. Yeah. Who knows? Okay, so Colin. Yeah. There are a million and ten different types of bracket fights. Okay. Is there a topic that you would like to do a bracket fight about? That would be my best best to find a good one. Bracket fight that we haven't already done yet. Yeah, so we've done Pokemon to death. We've done um, some movies, I think. Uh, And that's really, I think, about it. And some video games as well. Um, What do you think? I have one idea for a fun one. I don't know. I think some people in here have some knowledge of history. I saw it was because it was a Reddit thread a couple months back. It was out of all 45, 46 presidents, which one do you think would win would would win in like a battle royale? Oh, that'd be good. But for a bracket, it would be who would win in a fist fight. So it would be, you know. Let me see. I bet there's a president. There's got to be a U.S. president's bracket fight, and we could do that premise. I always thought that was kind of an interesting one to debate. But <clears throat> all right, yeah, um, we could try this. <laughs> uh, biggest issue is that, like, I wonder if there's going to be presidents that we don't recognize. Uh, just from like, look, I know like like most of their names, but that's a good um, point. I, mean, I could we'll always get, figure we'll get, it out. Yeah, you can always hopefully they'll have hopefully they'll be names or whatever, but you never know. Yeah, I'm looking up to see if I could find one that has names on it. Um, not looking like it so far. Um. That'd be a good one. I don't. Do we want to like save that for like a bigger group? Yeah. Maybe? I'm, yeah. Kind of. I'm surprised. I thought Ryan or Kyle or somebody. Would yeah, be Kyle. Uh, I usually would be, but I think Kyle might be sl- slappy. He might be sleepy. Um. That's fair. Maybe he got back. Maybe he got a second shot. Been knocked out. He's a sleepy. I don't think he's gotten the vaccine yet. He's sleepy boy. He he had quite the hard day yesterday. He woke up, he ate five guys, and slept again. That is, like, my dream day. Actually, though, like, honestly, <laughs> on a very, like, to a real level, would absolutely love that day. 100% would. Um, like, you can't live like that any day, every day, but the days you get mm, to live like that are great. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. Trying to find something that like the two of us could just knock out as like a a bracket fight. Um, all right, this this might be it. Um, what else? We've done fast food places. What about? Uh, uh, oh, that's right. We did candy. We did do candy. I have found a ultimate dessert tournament bracket fight. I want to save that for when there's more people here. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Um, have we done fast food restaurants? I think so. Okay. Because we just got we did, uh, it came down to what was five guys versus A and W, and five guys just barely squeaked through, if I remember correctly. True. I don't as know. Chan- as chance would say, true Keck W. That does sound like chance. Yeah. So I'll pick one and I'll pick one you're interested in and I'm sure I can come up with something. Sounds good. Let me scroll nothing, for if nothing else I can be contrary. Oh. This might do it. I found a random assortment of drinks. I can do that. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Um okay, we're gonna do this real fast. Slop to display capture. Uh, not that. And not that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so it looks like the first thing 
on our bracket fight actually is going to be hot chocolate versus I'm gonna that say orange lime or orange coke. It's um Is that an sorry, orange? It's it, it, it's an orange. Okay. It's a slice <laughs> of something. So <laughs> this is it why is you're needed. Yeah. Um <sighs> That's a no contest for me. I love hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. And I it's, do yeah. not like Coke orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. So I actually don't mind vanilla orange Coke, but it's not chocolate all day. Um, so Welsh's grape so grape juice versus Arnold Palmer. For me, it's Arnold Palmer Arnold every Palmer. single Although, day of not the, the one week. shown in the not the one shown in the picture. For some reason, I actually around, love this one. Around me, that's the light version. I haven't been able to find the the gallon of just the regular, as God intended, high fructose corn syrup version. Oh yeah, you know what? I I'm not sure. All right, so this is some sort of juice versus I think that's supposed to be lemonade. All right, oh lemonade versus strawberry Nesquik. I'm gonna go lemonade personally. Ah, uh, yeah, I've never been a big Nesquik guy. I liked Nesquik when I was younger. Um. I never. Ooh. My mom would just buy the syrups and then we'd mix it ourselves. See that? Really I think it's better show. Yeah. So this is actually a hard one for me. So yeah. I might lean. If you have a way you like apples, uh, yeah, apple well, cider to, versus I think, Sprite. I think cider. Honestly, I used to love Sprite when I was a kid, and now I just don't. It's it's almost like seltzer, just worse. Like just I, a little, I don't know. I so I think I actually was having this talk with people before. Sprite is the best of that lemon lime, the lemon lime sodas to me. Mm-hmm. So it's better than Sierra Mist, of course. It's better than Seven Up. It's better than anything else that's lemon lime soda, really. But apple cider does hold a special place for me. So I think yeah, I think we go apple cider here. Yeah, I, like I don't know if you've ever had. I've had fresh apple cider. Yes. mm Hmm. And it's pretty damn good. Sunny D versus Cherry Seven Up. Uh, Ooh. Um. I probably would go Sunny D. Oh, I'd go Cherry Seven Up. Ooh. See, you know what? My- I I will I will concede. Uh, this is one that I don't really care about. <laughs> That's fair. I don't know. I never like. I honestly never. Sunny D is one of those. Another one I never had as a kid. And when I, I, yeah. I first had it, I was like out of high school. Yeah, and I was not, like, it's just great. sweet. Like, yeah. it's not... Yeah, that was like a toss-up for me, so not really... Uh, what the hell is this one on the right? Deer wine. Sure. Uh, is that... That's, that's a, like a vintage soda brand. Okay. It's like... It's kind of like cherry soda, but like, I've had it before. I didn't it like good? it. No. no it's not. So it's chocolate milk then. Yeah, chocolate milk yeah. all the way. The sad thing is, I actually really like black cherry soda. There's uh, black cherry is, is in great. fact, yeah. I have a few bottles on my desk right now. <laughs> Are you? Playing. Do you do Stewarts or? Uh, I usually do Stewarts if I can find it near me, but uh, they've actually had a supply chain problem because of COVID. Yes. Yep. So I've been getting a. Uh, there's a Philadelphia brand called Hanks. I've been getting. Oh. But the one I really like is it's more of a local brand, but I think they shut down. It's called Old Philadelphia. Old Philadelphia. I'll have to keep they, an eye out for it. But I think the company went under because I haven't seen it in a few weeks. Makes me sad. So this is like an interesting matchup. It's Mountain Dew, but it says Mary Mary mashup versus water. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a hydro homie right now. I'm gonna uh, water. Yeah. It's yeah. it's like I do you okay, so I feel like Mountain Dew I do see it later in the list. But like are you a Mountain Dew person? So Mountain Dew I, li- I like it a lot, and that's why I try not to drink it. Okay. It's like, because it's just so bad for you in so many ways. And it's just, but it's also like, if I could drink it without having any side effects on my teeth, body, or kidneys, I would. <laughs> I, like, Mountain Dew to me has always been interesting. Like, I'll drink it, but maybe I'm luckier in the sense that I I never really, lo- like, overly loved it. Nah, it's, it's um, my... Is my it your problem crack, with soda, basically? I have a problem with soda is I just, I, if I have it, I'll drink it until it's gone. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I, so right now, actually, we've been buying, and this helps me a lot, uh, mini Coke cans. So it's 7.5 ounces. Yeah, those ones. 
and it's 90 calories can. So, like, if I, like, right now, I you're need a little, you know, you're rationing. So I have a nice little ration of Coke that I'm going to have uh, for, like, a little kick. See, I've been through. trying, I go the opposite way. I'll have, right now I've been trying to buy, I buy, like, uh, like I actually buy, basically, it's Arnold Palmer, but it's lemonade iced tea. Mm. And it has sugar in it, but not, not as much as soda. And the other thing is, I keep... I've done this since last year. I have a one-gallon pitcher that I just constantly refill with water. I like to always have it full. Yes. Just because having the choice and having it be down here, you know. It's a sign like, this is here, so I'm just going to stick to this. Yeah. That's that's uh, basically what I go with. But there was I, a time uh, in college when I was going through some shit. Hmm. And I would drink, like, I, like I'd buy a two-liter of Mountain Dew, and it'd be gone by the end of the night. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So, I... I try to stay away from it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't blame you. Um, for me, I actually <laughs> have uh, pint glasses of water. So just 16 ounces uh, full of water over and over and over again throughout the day um, to, to drink my water. But sitting on our screen right now is... I don't know if there's going to be another root beer representative. Well, let me Ooh, scroll. This one's this, I'm gonna I'm going to say this is our root beer representative versus cherry coke. I, I've never been super duper into root beer, but root beer is very good, and I cherry coke is very good as well. Honestly, That's, if you lean one way or the other on this, I would just go with you. I'm gonna have to go if we're going to specific brands here. I like cherry coke. Okay, lot. yeah, we'll go. Cherry coke is very good. There cherry is coke one... is probably my. Is it my? It's in my top three favorite cokes, which I know doesn't sound like a. Um, like a, no, a yeah, grand. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you've ever used like a freestyle machine, though, like. Oh my god, flavors, you know? dude! So I, I don't know if it's gonna be on this list at all, but my all-time favorite Coke is vanilla Coke. Love yeah. vanilla Coke to absolute death. Absolute. Always been a little it's, too sweet for me, but I understand why some mm, people like it. Yeah, I, I, I used to like when I was a kid. I really liked the cherry vanilla Coke. If you remember yes, that. cherry vanilla Coke is so good. Those machines also have cherry vanilla Coke. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that again because I haven't had that in a while. Yeah, I, cherry I really vanilla Coke like is that. delicious. Like you know, like the the Coke machines. Like yeah, that are... yeah. They're, those those things are a work of magic. By the way, yeah, I um, like them. The sad thing is though, if like if we're talking just root beer versus cherry cola, though, I have had some really good. My friend Jake would occasionally go to upstate New York to visit family, and he would bring back a couple four packs of it was a Saranac root beer. And it was like a, you know it was, I guess it was like you call it a craft root beer because it was like a small town, okay. you know, handmade. And that stuff was like the nectar of the gods, man. It was, <laughs> it's creamy and just oh, it's so good. Hey, it does sound good. It does sound delicious. Speaking of delicious things, we have. Hot chocolate, hot cocoa versus Arnold Palmer, aka half icy, half lemonade. Um, <laughs> this one's not fair though, because one of them's a winter drink, and the other I definitely associate with spring and summer. Yeah, like for me, I lean more Arnold Palmer. Yeah, I kind of have to as well. I love hot chocolate though, man. Like hot chocolate's a good shout, but I think Arnold Palmer wins because it's more of a. There's I, more of the year that I think I'm willing to have an Arnold Palmer than hot chocolate. That's the thing. Hot chocolate is more like a novelty. Although I will say you can do a lot with it. Like, I still think that I, if I ever get like stuck on the side of a mountain, whatever, and I have to like get get a warm drink, I want hot chocolate with a shot of Fireball in it. And you'll, that sounds you'll, that sounds great, warm. actually. It's like it, it'll warm you right back up, and like you just so good, man. Oh no, lemonade versus apple cider. Lemonade. Yeah. Uh, so I would love to give apple cider some love here, just because apple cider is absolutely delicious. I don't think there's been one thing on this list that I wouldn't drink so far. I am gonna say that. However, oh, no, I agree with that. lemonade I think does take the cake. Uh, now we're a cherry seven up versus chocolate milk. Um, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, man. Uh, goodbye, yeah, cherry seven up. It's just kind of meh. You know, it's not. Great. Water versus cherry coke. This is like what you should have versus <laughs> yeah, what you, what you want. <laughs> and like, I don't know if I'm supposed to pick water here. 
I kind of want to pick water here, just because as much as I do love Cherry Coke, there is nothing better than that 3 a.m. glass of water that you just need. Hondo percent agree. Like, water, that's the one thing, like, I, I actually have known people who don't drink water. That like, they just, me, it, like, I am, A, very concerned. Like, uh, it's, just, it's, it's the all-purpose drink, you know? It, like... I'm gonna have a sip of water right now. There is nothing as refreshing as a sip of water. I'd like to think there's somebody out there watching this, uh, dying of thirst, uh, who is just not <laughs> because we're describing how great water. You know, if you were dying of thirst and your first choice was to listen to background noise, I very much a appreciate the sentiment. And you also could quick catch it live on twitch.tv slash hydroxidant, but your priorities might not be in order. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm slowly dying of thirst. Uh, I'm going to watch this podcast for the next hour and a half to two yeah. hours. He can't miss his favorite That's streamer. True. Like, he just, yeah. he just I, can't. But again, appreciate the support. I just got to wonder the order in which you do. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually hard for me, but I'm, I think I lean Arnold Palmer over Lemonade. Just because, yeah. like, it does have lemonade in it. That's the thing. It's more. But you of also a, get to add iced tea to it. More of a complex taste. Hmm. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. You offered me a glass of either. When I I picked it up, Palmer. I would as well. So chocolate milk versus water. Honestly, water for me. Water. Yeah. It's Especially, water. Although I will say, subconsciously, I'm leaning water just because I've had like the 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 picture on the thing is True Moo, which is not real chocolate milk. No. But. In the finals of this side, we have Arnold Palmer versus Water, and I gotta tell you, man, I think I pick Arnold Palmer. Over That's water. tough. That's like I, honestly pretty tough. This is this is I have very a glass hard. Of both right next to. Me. Oh my god, that could not work more perfectly. <laughs> um, um, but I I I would like to lock in a vote for Arnold Palmer on this. I Water coming top four is very responsible of us, must I say. I'm gonna pick Arnold Palmer, and this is the, this is my reasoning though. These are. This is a list of like beverages. Yeah. Water is a necessity. That's true. Yeah. So this is. Uh, hey, I'm just saying we got water into the top four. That is very adult of us, and we should be congratulated. Hawaiian punch versus a bubbly <laughs> sparkling water. Oh, so speaking of like the exact opposite of water, I kind of want it to be Hawaiian punch here. Yeah, I want it to be Hawaiian Punch. I have had it's... that exact flavor of bubbly. I can't stand any seltzer, but that flavor I know sucks for sure. Seltzer has always been interesting to me. Um, like I could, I can drink it, but yeah, not really my thing. I actually I... can't. I, I like, I've tried, and it's just this not won't my go down. No, yeah. I, I hate it. Dr Pepper versus Barks Red Cream Soda. I've never had red cream soda before. I don't like any cream soda. Uh, oh. Yeah. I, I actually do enjoy a good cream soda. I like Swords cream soda a lot, actually. Um, but I, 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 I might also just like Swords products. Just, <laughs> good. So and I don't I know if they can make a bad soda. <laughs> I, I've actually... I don't mind uh, their like cherries and cream or their orange and cream. cream yeah, that's whatever. really good, too. Very, but I very do good. not like... You don't like cream, cream soda from anybody, just not yeah. a fan. Yeah, everyone has their own uh, taste. For some reason, I do. I don't know why, but like that's again why I think like vanilla Coke was such like it's such like a top tier drink to me. Um, but this is Dr Pepper, right? This yeah. is Dr Pepper all day. I think. Definitely. Um, Kool Aid versus Coke Zero. I I'm I'm leaning Kool Aid. Oh yeah. It's Kool Aid, right? Like, come <laughs> on. Bro, uh, it's Kool Aid all day, every day. Orange uh, soda versus orange juice. Ooh, that's a interesting category. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's. <laughs> you know the fun th funny thing though, orange soda is one of those things I have to be in a very specific mood to drink. Hmm. Like, I don't know. It's like every once in a while, like once a year, I'll get a craving for it. It's so like, like, bro, I need, I need some orange soda right now, stat. And then I won't have any for the rest of the year. <laughs> like... I, I, I like orange juice and orange soda, but I think I might want to go orange soda. I honestly don't like orange juice. If I have to pick my choice of juices, orange is near the bottom of that list. I like orange juice. I think I I like it in the right scenario, though. Like it, 
for me, if like I have orange juice at any time that's not Brefix, I don't want it. Yeah, breakfast though, I I prefer milk, like especially Fair. like my dad, uh, like especially I like to make pancakes, or I used to, but mm. I don't cook that much anymore because I'm busy. Mm. But uh, I would make pancakes and sausage for breakfast, and my dad would always ask for orange juice. And to me, that's just too much, like sweet with the syrup and all that. I like, I want a good glass of milk. For that. There you go. So this is like the ultimate gamer <laughs> matchup. It would we, be if that was Mountain Dew Code Red. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it is Monster Energy versus Mountain Dew. Um, In terms of just the straight products, I lean Mountain Dew. I don't like straight Monster. The only ones I've ever liked are the rehab versions, which are like the iced tea ones. I yeah, like I've drank Monster before. Like I will tell you, just like as like a off the cuff story, one day before high school. I had a friend who loved uh, going to, for some reason, he liked going to Starbucks and like before school. And keep in mind, school day started like 730. Mm -hmm. So in order for us t to go to Starbucks, we were, had to leave our house at like six. Oof. So he took me to Starbucks. I got a Starbucks hot chocolate, which it's decently sugary still. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of kick in it, but for some reason I was also presented with a Monster Energy drink that morning, and I drank them both before Ooh, school started. No. I when I tell you, I was on a different plane of existence for the entire day. <laughs> I was on a different plane. I was still jittery by the time school ended. It C sounds <laughs> like dude. It was like it was. I, it was next level. So by that standard, I think maybe Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I can, I'm ever going to... I don't. I would never have that combination of stuff again because I, you know... All right, so Coke versus coffee. I don't drink coffee. I honestly don't drink coffee. Um, yeah, I don't drink... I. The funny thing is, I used to drink hot coffee in high school. And then mm -hmm. I just kind of stopped. And now these days, sometimes I, I do cold brew. Uh, oh, okay. That's kinda, if I need my caffeine, that's kind of where I go to get it. This is going to be sacri sacrilege to Zell, who might be drinking a cup of coffee while we're doing this. But I think I'm going to pick Coke over I'm, coffee. Uh, um, I'm going to pick Coke, too, just because, okay. you know, it's, it's I a would, classic. I would like to have a public service announcement. Apology to Zell for picking coke over coffee i apologize Zell. Zell, i hope you one day find it in your heart to forgive me for picking coke over coffee i don't drink coffee uh and also i know coke probably is not straight coke is not something you can have either so i do apologize uh yeah i would just like to apologize again <laughs> i am sorry uh, <laughs> we have milk versus Gatorade. Huh. Milk. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you milk. I do like Gatorade, but like milk, yeah. Welsh's sparkling white grape versus Tropicana Caribbean. So I don't want either of these things. Yeah, we did bad. Um, I guess. Do we I hate want sparkling it? slightly more though, so I'll, I guess I'll pick Tropicana. Yeah, oh Tropicana. I, I don't really care. I'm like I. This was the first disappointing matchup in the entire tier list. I would argue. Uh, Hawaiian Punch versus Dr Pepper. I think Dr Pepper. Definitely Dr Pepper. Hawaiian Punch. Um, I've always found Hawaiian Punch weird, just because the what the literally the mixture it's made of it does not cool. It has so little actual water in it. It doesn't cool as quickly as other drinks because it has... That's so weird. Like, <laughs> I don't like that fact. In fact, I thought I read something. Give me a sec to Google it. Yeah. I think it was eventual, It was originally uh, award, invented in World War II um, because it kept better or something. <laughs> that, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised. There it is. Why doesn't Hawaiian Punch get cooled? Oh, I'm sorry. It was made in the Cold War era. Cold War. It's made uh, of an incredibly alkaline and basic syrup that has a freezing point of negative 35 Celsius. That's why. 
I mean, the, the Cold War actually does make more sense now. Um, now that we know that. Um, the next matchup we have is Kool-Aid versus Orange Soda. Uh, I would like to say this is the ultimate Jacob matchup. Oh, God. So Jacob... Uh, yeah, no, Jacob... Jacob, Jacob loves Kool-Aid. both Kool-Aid and Orange Soda to death. Um, and I don't know which one he'd be more disappointed didn't make it forward. I like it. If it's a straight matchup, honestly, I'll go Kool Aid. All right, we can go Kool Aid. You know, I think there's a part of me that thinks that like Jacob just like perked up somewhere and is like looking around very confused why he's like being summoned. I wonder if this is going to be contentious between us because I want I w- Coke over Mountain Dew. Honestly, this might be I, the first one. If I you... go Mountain Dew over Coke, to be okay. perfectly honest. So, this is the first one we've... I think we haven't been able to agree on. Like, and so, Which is actually... This far into a tier list is very interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to break a tiebreaker between us. Um, hold up. Um, let me move this over here. Um, Hear me out. Drag someone randomly from uh, the Box Consulting Services channel and just ambush them with Coke or Mountain Dew. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to poke. I'm going to poke Sheldon. Coke versus Mountain Dew, who wins? And whatever Sheldon says, wins. That'll be law. Yeah, and... It's 100% understood that whatever Sheldon picks is the winner. And if he never replies back to me, do. He said do in Twitch chat. All right, Mountain Dew wins. Sheldon is law. Do the do. Thank you, Sheldon, for your service to this podcast <laughs> uh, milk versus Tropicana Caribbean sunset that won by default milk right it's just it's, it's milk yeah. it, it's milk um, old mommy milkers <laughs> it's, it's, you know another reason for milk to win Dr. Pepper versus Kool-Aid I Ooh. might be Kool-Aid on this one honestly yeah I'm feeling the non-carbonated right now so I'm I don't know Kool-Aid. why yeah I and then Mountain Dew versus Milk. I don't like seeing those two things on screen. The, I don't know. I don't There's don't something know very why. uncomfortable about Mountain Dew and Milk <laughs> being compared. Um, that is a, I honestly don't know where. I, guess I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to like compare these two things. I guess if we're talking as a beverage, I drink milk more often than Mountain Dew. It's. It's. I. I don't know why. I'll go milk. Uh, I'm just very, like, there's a part of me that's a little unsettled still about having to compare milk and Mountain Dew because I picture the flavors and it's just upsetting. It's, we're going to click on milk. They're almost the polar opposite of each other. One is really intense and fizzy. The other is milk. Yeah. Kool-Aid versus milk. Again, a matchup that I never thought I would see. I might actually say Kool-Aid, though. I'll say Kool-Aid, actually. Yeah. I used to love that stuff. Every, like, I I used to get, uh, I tried... You know, the Mio Kool-Aid had a brand I tried theirs. The liquid isn't quite as good as the powder. I actually... uh, I forgot about Mio. I love Mio. Um, It it just gives your water, like, a nice little taste, you know? I always Um, got the black cherry. Ooh, that's a good shout. Arnold Palmer versus Kool-Aid. I have to go Arnold Palmer. It's part of my personality to pick Arnold Palmer. It kind of... Yeah, I... It's funny, like, part of me is really rooting for Kool-Aid, but if I had a big picture of one and a big picture of the other, I'd probably go on Palmer. Palmer. Oh, yeah. And it's also part of, like, my persona in life to pick Arnold Palmer as the winner, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Arnold Palmer is our beverage champion. I will give that a nice little download in case I ever need it for some reason. But, yeah, I, I think that was, like... Weirdly enough, the least contentious bracket fight or tier list we've ever done. Yeah, to be fair, there are only two of us. There are already two of us, but like we also could have disagreed on things. 
Yeah, and we and we just really didn't. You know what I mean? Oh well. Um, which I I'm when I say least contentious, I'm not upset by that. By the way, (laughs) that is not an upsetting like. Oh Oh, no! Drama. Yeah, yeah, it's a dramedy, man. Background noise, dramedy edition. Um, but yeah, so that was our beverage bracket fight, where after a long, hard-fought battle, the winner is Arnold Palmer. After <laughs> the beverage battle royale. It's just a good drink, you know? It's it's a very, very good drink. Um, man, it, it just is, right? You just really have trouble beating that as, like, a drink, because it's, like... I'm surprised... We, did we see, like, a straight iced tea on that list at all? I don't no, think we, we did. No, we didn't, which kind of, like, you know, because we saw a straight lemonade, you'd think. Yeah. I know, it's got the best of both. It's a little sweet, but the iced tea makes it not too sweet, and mm. the tea makes it refreshing, you know? Exactly. It... All joking aside, the best of both worlds, honestly. It, um... Yeah, Arnold Palmer has been uh, my go-to drink for so long at this point in my life that it's just, it is good. Like, Chance and I have had banter about Arnold Palmer because he would just have a case of Arnold Palmer in his room, and I'd hate him for having the case of Arnold Palmer in his room because I did not have a case of Arnold Palmer in my room. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, these days I just buy, I get the uh, the Turkey Hill Lemonade Tea, which is just That's good. It's... Tea, and, tea and lemonade mixed together, but yeah. it's not name brand Arnold Palmer. Honestly, I like... Dude, honestly, if it's half iced tea, half lemonade, I bought a... Oh, I forget the brand... It might have been, like, 4C or something. It was just a powder mix of icy lemonade. And it was it was really, really good, too. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think, like, most powder form drinks are really good. I don't know why I like them so much. I'd stop buying them, though, because I eventually... The problem with the powder is I would just keep dumping it in until I used, like, three times the recommended <laughs> <laughs> yeah like why, why i i did my so best addictive? to right like sugar is a little too uh addictive it it's really good um a little too good yeah oh well but at least it's still a good drink Remixed. Don't know. I'm running out of things to say. I actually never heard of Arnold Palmer before my high school. Really? Yeah, the uh, Classics Club would on Thursdays would buy a bunch of uh, the Arnold Palmer like tall boy cans, hmm. and uh, they'd get like a thing or two of pretzels from uh, the uh, Philly pretzel thing okay. factory. I think it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like that chain, and they'd sell them for like a, uh, it was like a buck a piece or something. You had to raise money and all that. For their trips or something, I don't know. Charity. Point is, every Thursday there'd be a huge line down by the old gym, and like at first I had no idea what Arnold Palmer was, and then I went down one one day and I was like, I joined the line, and I'd never, I never, I, I don't know, I never realized you could mix iced tea and lemonade together. Yeah, it's like whoa. These two things mixed together. I like to imagine it happened the same way in like that Family Guy episode. With that, the dude, well. that's exactly the thought I was just having. <laughs> <laughs> and that that's it, it's like the, the, the car accident with and like Officer Reese's like uh, yeah, pops that. up on the scene. It's like he tastes it. He shoots both guys. It's like you got peanut butter in my chocolate. You got chocolate oh, in my peanut butter. butter. <laughs> I gotta say, there, there's a lot more variety than I thought there were. When I worked at Christmas tree shops, we'd get a lot of weird ones. There's like a strawberry one. 
And there's another one that's Southern style because it's instead of uh, regular iced tea and lemonade, they mix sweet tea and pink lemonade. And they call it Southern style for some reason. <laughs> I, I, that sounds delicious. I would definitely try it. Just a little, it's basically just the same thing, but more sweet. In fact, they might just add more sugar and call it a day. Hmm. But, I don't know. Arizona has a lot, like, more variety of drinks. It's just, you never see, like, the weird ones in most stores. One, one sure. day, I remember, we got a couple of cases. They have this thing, they call it Golden Bear Lemonade, because it's, like, from California. And it's, like, lemonade, but with, like, herbs in it, like, ginseng and stuff. That sounds interesting. I never got it. I was too weirded out by yeah, it. Yeah, like, because like, that reminds me, like, on Arizona Green Tea, it says it has a ginseng in it, I believe. And I never knew what that was, to be honest. <laughs> To this day, I still am not exactly sure what it is, where it is, when it's, it is, or who. It's like a, it's an Eastern herb. Generally, they, they use it as like a muscle re relaxer, although it's not quite as good as like they say it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what hat, like, I... Yesterday playing Valorant, I said something and my phone went off. I don't remember what it was. I think I said, oh shit, like how did that happen? And Siri came on. And it's like, I I did not call for you. There, So that's like one of two times my phone has ever gone off. Like my Siri has gone off. Um, and the other time, did you, so they're decently popular. Have you ever heard of the McElroy brothers? I have heard the name. Okay. But I do not know what they are. They are, like, um, three brothers who, like, they do, like, a podcast. Uh, they do, like, a lot of funny things. They're, like, a, a comedy trio, more or less. And um, they did, like, a short-run, like, show. And Griffin, the youngest brother, said, like, Hey, Siri, blah, 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 blah. And my phone went off. Like, I was watching it. And my phone went off. And I'm like, I hate that. Why? I'm so uncomfortable. Why did this happen? <laughs> little, yeah, I'll, I'll give that one to you. That's a little weird. I don't know. I, I think their triggers are too freaking sensitive sometimes. Yeah. Like, one of the things that pisses me off is a lot of times when I'm do like, we don't have a dishwasher, so I do a lot of, like, you know, hand wash dishes. And I'll have Amazon Music open because that's my main music app. And, like, I won't say a word, but for whatever reason, the sound of the rushing water occasionally triggers Alexa, and I have no idea what? why. <laughs> like That's so weird. I, like, I, I, can't, I can't explain it, because it's just, yeah, there's no other noise, I don't have anything, like, my, nobody else is around, I'm just washing dishes, and I just, between the water and my scrubbing, it, it makes the right frequency to turn Alexa on. <laughs> It's either the, the right frequency or the weirdest ghost ever. That is very possible. <laughs> it's just a ghost that wants to fuck with you, so it just uh only calls your Alexa. And it <laughs> when you're washing dishes. <laughs> yeah. What a what a troll ghost that would be, you know? I mean there's really nothing else to do when you're a ghost except troll people. You know? I Yeah, if I was a ghost, I would just fuck with the people I, I know. I know you, that and haunt, you haunt movie theaters because, you know, movies. Yeah, that's true. Well, you get to see free movies at that point, right? Yeah. Haunt is you, like a loose... I guess if you, if, you, uh, hate your, if you hated your coworkers uh, at, before you died, you could go back and haunt your workplace. That's true. Uh, So... This is getting into, like, interesting territory now. But do you believe in ghosts? Do I what? Believe in ghosts. No. Okay. I'm I'm kind of boring. I, you know, I don't believe in the supernatural. I believe in the mind is really good at tricking itself into seeing things that aren't there. Fair. Not really, fair. I'm not like judging people that have seen him, but like that's just the way the brain is constructed. You want to see patterns, 
Mm. Or, you know, it wants to it wants to see something that it understands, even if it's not there. That's fair. I don't know. I don't like I don't like to come off because I know that they're like I don't know. It's that old quote, what is it? Is there more to heaven and earth in your philosophy? And uh Uh yeah. Most people don't <laughs> most people don't like the answer, no, not really, you know? <laughs> I mean, but like that's that's like your opinion, man. To quote the Big Lebowski. Um, no, it is, but it's also kind of boring. <laughs> it's kind of boring because it shuts down the debate. You know? like, <laughs> well, for me, like uh, I like halfway believe I've had a few experiences in my life that are just hard to explain. I'll say that much. Um, hard to explain, I think, is like the perfect place to leave it. Um, because. It's like, I don't know exactly how that happened. Because I looked at all of these other things that could have done this. And none of those are possible. So we're just going to leave it here and pretend it never happened. <laughs> so, one example. Um, my, You know, Mark. Mark and I were actually hanging out um, late in, in my car at a park once. Um, and we were not parked under a tree. We were not, um, there was no one around us. We were the only car. And both of us heard a distinct, oh, I'm trying to knock, but knock, knock, knock on the back of my car. Keep in mind, it's, it was the back of my car. The, the car was not moving. There's no people around. Uh, it was like a distinct knock, knock, knock that it couldn't have been like an animal, like a squirrel landing because a squirrel would like land and like make like very quick movements, not like heavy thuds like that. Um, we got out of there as soon as we could. <laughs> I mean, it might not have been a squirrel, but it could have been something a bit heavier. Yeah, you never... Yeah, but, like, it's, like, also how the raccoon really, where did it come from? They Like, we didn't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you never know. But uh, that is one instance that I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it might be haunted. <laughs> that might have been, that might have been an encounter. Who knows? Um, I don't know. There was something gonna... else in my head that I forgot <laughs> that I had happened to me that I'm just not remembering right now. I don't know. I'm always skeptical about that kind of stuff because I've had, you ever have like a really, I remember I had a very vivid, and I guess it would be technically a, either, a, a, it'd be, I'm not even sure if it would be a hallucination per se. Mm. I went out, the first time I went off to summer camp, I was, it was my first time like away from home for like a significant period, like on my own without my family, just like a week. Mm. And the way the tents were set up was that they had like a wooden bottom. It was almost like a if you ever seen like just like like a, like a pallet. It was like a large pallet, and then the tent was on top of it. If that makes sense. Yeah. And one night, I woke up, and I just I I must have just like rolled out of bed, and I was on the pallet. But for whatever reason, I would have like if if someone had come across me in this ten minute period after I had woken up and fallen out of my bed. I was like, I, I was convinced I somehow sleepwalked over to the docks. And for like <laughs> 10 minutes, I was just sitting like, oh God, how am I going to find my way back to my tent? I don't have a flashlight. Like I'm not. <laughs> and then like 10 minutes later, I, I like, I actually like, I realized, wait, no, I'm in my tent. What? Like it's the, it was like the weirdest. I have no idea what the hell caused it or anything, but I just, I was, I, it was so dark. I just I was convinced I'm at the docks, and I have no idea that's how to get back to my camp. Yeah, I wonder if that's like, like a little bit of a hallucination. Cause like I, in recent times, uh, within like the last month or something, for the first time, experienced sleep paralysis. Ooh. Um, which was not fun. <laughs> uh, I sort of like, as soon as like I broke out of it, I I, I knew what it was. Cause like, um. You just kind of know things from time to time. Um, but yeah, it 
Because in sleep paralysis, you can... You do hallucinate. Um, no, yeah. That's, that's... So luckily, because I would have scared shitless, I didn't see anything, I just heard things. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh... It's like, yeah, I just had a voice saying very mean things to me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't like this. Stop saying that. these mean things. I read about that stuff when I was yeah. going for... When I was an abnormal psych. And it's really... Sleep has always interested me in in when like especially when I was study, at school for psych, psychology because like it's one of those processes we just don't know that much about and yeah. can't really study all that much, mm. which is interesting. At least I I think it's interesting for a number of reasons, but it's also interesting just how like. It, like the brain can have these weird glitches and still continue to function. Like, yeah. Like in a computer, that would that that, would, that something like that would be like an unrecoverable error on boot. But for most of us, it's just that was weird. Well, it's over now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do anything about that. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. Hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Hope there's a patch coming soon. <laughs> yeah, sleep paralysis. There's a great SCP about the paralysis that I, lo- that I thought was really good. Hmm. Interesting, um, this it was it was weird. I'll say that. Um, it, like, it, like I I actually because I read up on it and like there's a lot of things that can trigger it. Um, but I remember like as soon as I was out of it. I had my, like, gaze fixated at a certain point in the room. I'm like, I'm rolling over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, well, it's done. We're done. Okay. Yeah. It's like, I am now going to not pay attention to that por- part of the room. I am staring at my wall for the rest of the night. Good night. <laughs> and, like, I, I did just, again, just fall asleep and not experience it again that night. Um... But yeah, I like I think like sort of like what you said is like definitely rational when it comes to certain experiences people have seen. You know what I mean? I I don't I feel like I am a weird in the middle about believing in ghost spirits and things like that. Um it, it's hard for me cuz like I want maybe it's just cuz like I want to have an open mind about certain things. Oh yeah. Um, with that. So like I, I think I'm open to the possibility of most things like that, but I definitely, I also wouldn't be able to say that no, that doesn't exist. Um, I don't know. I, you gotta understand that I am very much. I am a cynic. It's just my nature. I don't. Yeah. No. I, which that's that's how you that's how you operate, my man. So yeah. that's just sort of one of your but isms. Just, it's more. I try not, but I try. I've worked very hard. I try not to like slap down if somebody like likes to believe in that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's but but I just I I don't know. I I I have a hard time if I, I like evidence. You know, I like because I know that our brains are quite unreliable when it comes to stuff like that. I like a bit more solid things to go on. You know. Yeah. Which, yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't blame me, because, like, those things are always 100%, uh, I don't know, like, a, that, that person is just telling you what they said. Um. Because, like, there's a good example, I remember I read about this in a book, this guy was, uh, camping up in the northern, in northern Scotland, right? And he hears this sound, and he says it sounds like like this demonic laughter, right? Hmm. Like he said, he, like it was like Satan was outside his tent pointing and laughing at him, <laughs> and he and, and it scares the shit out of him. He can't sleep. So after a week, he goes back to and he he goes to a pub, and he's talking about it with the bartender, and this guy near him happens to be uh, oh, what's the word? A, a a guy who studies birds. I can't remember the name right now. Ornithologist. Huh? Is it ornithologist, maybe? Yes, ornithologist. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Oh. And he and he starts laughing because there's a bird that happens to live in this in these woods in northern Scotland, whose uh whose mating call sounds like really 
creepy laughter. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and so, like, and, that, and for a, there was like an urban legend around there that that's where de- uh, the devil, well, you know, demons lived until they eventually found this bird. The bird. Realized, they oh, just like this fucking bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bird? <laughs> yeah, that's I like, I like that. Like that. I just find funny. Yeah, like, that's why, like, I I think, like, it's sort of, like, realistically, it's, it's probably more towards where you're saying. I do, like, think, I don't know, it's hard, but I, I like to think that certain things exist. I think Bigfoot, probably, if it existed, we would have found him already. Um, <laughs> I, I do find it very funny, and, like, again, like, this is, maybe this is one of my more closed-minded things, I guess, um... Like, my my dad watches a lot of those, like, them looking for Bigfoot, oh, the Bigfoot shows. shows. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, so you know what happens by the end of this, right? And he's like, what? They, they didn't find Bigfoot. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> 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 you know they were never going to find Bigfoot in one of these shows. And it's like, why? It's like... Because if we found Bigfoot, it would make it to the mainstream news immediately. Yeah, like you'd see it on CNN. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Holy crap, he was real. Yeah, <laughs> you know? See, as, a, as a kid, I was... The other thing is, as a kid, I was very gullible and vulnerable to this kind mm. of stuff. And when it comes to, like, cryptids especially, uh, one of the units we did in middle school was on cryptids. So you have to pick Bigfoot or, you know, the Loch Ness Monster, or Aliens, the Jersey Devil or something. And you do, like, a paper on it, right? Mm. Well, the thing is, uh, my mom was a teacher in the same school. And a lot of times I'd stay after school with her before she'd drive us home. Uh, so she had a cart full of the, full of the books on the subjects. Yeah. So I, I like, and a lot of, I, I was always a bookworm. So if I was bored, I'd just, I'd read books off the cart. And it's, you know, I was interested in it and I believed in it. And then you read all the books and it's like, you know, the one common through line through all this stuff is, the people who saw it weren't that credible to begin with. A bunch of people went hunting for it and it found no solid. And they did not find existed. anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> that's that sort of how said, it always goes. Yeah, I don't discount it entirely though. As much as I'm not like I'm not an atheist out of like you know, there's people that like like Richard Dawkins who like are like scientific atheists. They're like, there's no evidence. Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Like, it's illogical. And I'm like, that's great for you, bro. My problem is just the problem of evil. I'm not like a clinical atheist. Because hypothetically, you know, if something supernatural did exist, especially if it, when it comes to like, you know, things like aliens or like deities, I mean, theoretically, theoretically, if they had all this if they had the kind of power that are ascribed to them, or in the case of aliens, they had the power to get here in the first place, you know, they could have the ability to affect things without being detected by modern technology. That's why, like, if, and obviously you're not uh, saying that, like, aliens don't exist in this statement at all. So not saying that you are, but when, if I've run into people who are like, yeah, don't think aliens are real. It's like, I, it, it's just like the, that's definitely one of the things you can't just say that confidently that they don't because yeah maybe there are if aliens like are 100 are real maybe they haven't made it here maybe they're in the same stage of life we are but it's a sort of like yo the yeah, that space is big my man we th- and we'll never i don't think like us as a species will ever make it to the end of space yeah, like that's a, my belief in an extraterrestrial. It's got to be something. It's got to be some other form of life. I, it I, exists, but yeah. it's so far away from us that conceivably we, we will it, never meet. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that's why that, it's crazy somebody, to think you, there isn't. Is what I'm sort of yeah. Unless somebody actually invents like wormhole, stargate, like the ability mm. for us to transverse the almost infinite capacity of space in very in relatively short periods of time. They might as well not exist, but I believe that, I mean, the probability is very low, but against the backdrop of all of time and space, you know, like, yeah. that's actually, it's one of the reasons I don't believe in God, because people are like, God created us and stuff, and I'm like, look, the chances of life to exist are small, but against all of 
time, space, the universe, the backdrop, the, a scale none of us can comprehend. It was almost guaranteed that at least one at one place there would be life, right? Like, mm. I don't know. That's that's my logic on it. I don't know if it'll there has to... there has to be like if you go far enough, something even like if it's not life as we picture life. Yeah, that's the thing. It could be silicon based, arsenic based. There's so many different. You it could know... be a material we fucking don't even know of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like it really could be. And that's and the um, other thing is because we don't really understand the nature of consciousness, we don't know if it requires, if if it requires similar physical conditions hmm. to develop a consciousness. You know. Yeah, we. There's a lot we don't know. <laughs> that's why, like, usually when it comes to the religion debate, I'm also agnostic. Um, I'm agnostic because I most like I. It's just sort of per- who I am as a person. I don't know. And I am okay with saying I don't know the answer. And that is where I lean. I am on this fence. I will stay on the fence. <laughs> you can't make me take get off the fence. <laughs> and that's fair. I, don't, I have no problem with agnostics, agnosticism. Mm. I call myself an atheist only because my preferred outcome is that there is no God. I'd rather... Okay. Of the two, of the two states... I'd rather believe there is no deity than there is one, and that's, that's how interesting. I live my life. Well, I believe my it, big problem with God is, is it like is it for okay? Uh, I know you're literally just going to say it, and apologize for cutting you off. But is it more of like a thing where you look at the world and you're like, oh, that's not great. Hope no one's in charge of that. Basically, yeah. It, my, <laughs> my problem has always been the problem of evil, and that yeah. if this is the best. A deity could do. It's better that that deity doesn't actually exist. Mm. If he does, if God does exist, they're either mad, bad, or sad. In that, they're either insane, evil, or penile, or don't care. User joined your channel. And all of those true. things, a non-existent God is better than any of those existing. True. Hi, Kyle. 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 Good, good morning. Hi. I, uh, yeah, my, they showed the house at, like, three, so I had to, uh, sleep after that. No. Oh. I forgot that that was today. That makes so much more sense. Yep. I was like, oh, he's probably just sleepy wherever he is. <laughs> I can see parts of my floor now in my room that I haven't able to see in a year. Oh. Because I'm a garbage collector, apparently. Aren't we all? Like, 14 bags. From my room and my bathroom. Oh. A lot. <laughs> that is a lot of bags, my friend. Yeah. Uh-huh. That is quite a bit. Yeah, it was a little dump, but uh, the room's clean now, so. so I'm not sure awake. What are your opinions and beliefs on the uh, existence of God? <laughs> <laughs> not a great first set of thoughts for Kyle to walk into. Uh, I am a confirmed Catholic. Oh. But what do you, what, do you practice? Absolutely not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, like, so Colin and I, we're talking. Colin is an atheist. I am agnostic. Um, my main reason is I am on this fence and you can't make me leave. Yeah. Um... I mean, I grew up like Lutheran Catholic, and then yeah. I didn't like any of the stories. Um, I started calling bullshit on them at a young age, mm. and uh, then th- made the deal with my mom that if I got confirmed, then I wouldn't have to go to church anymore. Oh, so that's yeah. kind of the deal there. Um, yeah. I do not believe by any means in any kind of organized religion. Uh, I think it's all bullshit. True, uh, and it was used to prevent rape, which is good. Um, True, but yeah, no longer right. is a thing because we have a th- like laws and we don't need the church to govern everything anymore uh so whether there is some depending on your definition of god either divine all controlling being or just the first um thing to exist who the fuck knows (laughs) you really can't prove it either way that's why like i go agnostic because i'm like i don't know (laughs) uh but like but I despise I, any kind of practicing religion. Yeah, I... Yeah, I've, always, I've always enjoyed the quote, like many atheists, I was raised Catholic. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's I, very yeah. I was a raised Catholic. Um, and I just cannot stand the church's take on literally anything. Yeah. <laughs> They're literally on the wrong side of everything. <laughs> the, the thing is, for me, what really did it was learning about the, uh, you know, the cover-up of the Boston scandal that later became the worldwide, you know. Yeah. Because, like, it, it, <laughs> we, I didn't learn that much about it in high school because I went to a Catholic high school. True. Didn't really talk about that shit much. And the jokes always kind of pissed me off because, like, a lot of, I knew priests and they were good people. Like, I, you know, they were good. They, they, they were good people. They were good teachers. They were, they were good men. So, like, annoyed me. Like, people like lump them all together. And then you learn more, and it's like, oh god, they're so corrupt. <laughs> they just don't care. And it's like, it, it's the, it's good men in a, in a, in a bad organization. You know, like, yeah. Where it's just they, they fucking cover up and and hide and I hate it. Our Lutheran minister used to come to like all my family stuff on my dad's side because oh, he's the Lutheran one. But yeah, mm. like literally like weddings didn't like or just like dinners for whatever fucking um, holiday. Like you'd be there at our place. I always or found that like place. interesting, like when uh, families were that involved. Because, like, Mm -hmm. we were, like, we went to church, but we didn't, we never would have had, like, the priest over or anything. Yeah. Um, Not the Catholic one, but the Lutheran one, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. smaller church. Uh That being said, I I was surprised our local pastor, our local uh, Father Ted, did make a house call when my mom died, which did kind of surprise me. I didn't know they did that kind of thing. That is, that is very nice. Yeah, that's um, one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why I like. I have mixed feelings about the Catholic Church because I, it's the organization itself is corrupt and should be torn down. But on the other hand, I like I, I was treated very well. By the I think you your your husband. statement earlier was a really good shout. Like honestly. you know, it's just a shame because there's some know. good people in a bad organization. Yeah. Um, that unfortunately, that exact statement can be applied to many. Almost all many crazy. things uh, going on today. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, like for me, uh, like I, I had um, like pastors and stuff that like I'm like ah oh, I got along with them. Growing up, I'm like oh they they were cool. Um, you know, I like, I don't want to get too much deeper into this because like then it gets into the joke territory. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I once was asked to play Jesus in a play when the pe- priests were doing, and this was like a few years ago, because oh, yes. I I went to uh, trust my grandma at once because she she asked me to, so I'm like, yes, grandma, I love you, grandma, I will go. Um, and I had, it was when I had really long hair, like I had really long hair, and he was like. <gasps> You have really long. Like, you, can you play Jesus for us? And I'm like, what? That's funny. Uh, I I told him I I turned it down. Uh, but I can say that I've been offered a role as Jesus in a production before. That's funny. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the arrangement. That's kind of the arrangement I have with my family. It's like, okay, I won't make a big deal out of the fact that I don't believe. Like, I'll go to church and I'll, and I'll go through the motions because I don't believe they matter, so it's not a big deal. Mm. Uh, and in return, you guys don't push me. Like, don't push me on it. You know? Yeah. Just kind of the arrangement. Yeah, like again, like it's not something I have. A, like, if someone that's your thing, that's your thing. No worries, I'm not gonna ever like sit on my little fence here and like preach one way or the other. Because the answer again is I don't know. <laughs> um, but like, sort of what you were saying, like I've always just had. I would always leave church angry. Like. 
And I think that was that's not the outcome you're supposed to have. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, because I remember being fuming. Uh, because this was like, like I think like right in like the times of where like it was it's most like debated and like about gay marriage. Um, and the one church representative. Uh, said like during a set of like they would have like a, a th- list of things that you list out and you're supposed to say like amen or like some other yeah. response to the call um, and response. yeah the call and response and then at one point they said that the sanctity of marriage remains between a man and a woman I just didn't say anything yeah it's... I'm like I can't reply to this one apologies isn't the pub cool with gay marriage now not yeah I think so off the record, yes. On the record, he has to say no, or else the college card. No, I think on the record, no, too. So, like ye- seventy. F- I want to say it's like seventy-five percent yes. He can't be fully yes because otherwise, there is enough. I mean, it's the Catholic Church for God's sake. There, there not- was literally a thing about it. Yeah. Uh, so that's Kyle. It. That's why, like, I'm but saying seventy-five percent yes. Like he has a- come on the record, but I think I've also seen stuff of him pe- backpedaling as yeah, well. Yeah, like they, they're never going to write. He said they will never recognize it as a full equal thing to regular regular marriage, heterosexual marriage. Like, you know. Yeah, because I remember seeing that and being extremely happy about it, Kyle. Because like, I know they, that a one hundred percent happened. He said that, yeah, but I pretty yeah. And Pope I Pope Francis is cool with it, but the Vatican supposed. Yeah, yes. like they, yeah. Pope Francis. I think the most he wants to do is turn it from a mortal sin into a venial sin, which good, but also you know not really what we're going for. Yeah, I think fun is whatever his speech was. I don't know. I just was. remember. I yeah. I remember in being beyond ecstatic that I just a religious organization figure actually said that. I'm like, okay, yeah. a little progress. What do you mean you do nothing about it? All yeah, right, exactly. that's <laughs> all right. We're doing one step forward, two so. steps back. Is it like the funny thing about my high school though is it was funny how like it could be really like loose with some stuff, and then like every once in a while it would remind me, oh yeah, it's still a Catholic high school. And the one that always got me was junior year and senior year. They brought in this priest who is the first priest I knew personally that I would like to punch in the face because oh. he they pull us out of class that afternoon class and we had to sit there and listen to him rant about abortion and uh also he was really bad at disguising that he was really racist (laughs) and then he would say and then he would say a week and he would we had weekly mass and they'd bring him in as for like one guest guest mass and like he'd like like he'd do the call and response thing and he'd say for all the souls of the of both you know, like the souls of the dead babies and the, the murderers who killed it and i was just like dude fuck off like it's like no i hated that guy and i also hated the, i hated so many of the fucking hypocrites in my high school because it was you know rich fucking douchebags who who would like like literally they were it was catholic so a lot of them they wouldn't use condoms and shit and it would be like <laughs> against abortion, but then they'd also be bragging about like the five chicks they banged that weekend, and even like they were dumb high school kids, so I really doubt they were getting that much on the side. But still, like you know, yeah, um, uh, yeah, could not imagine going to Catholic high school. I don't know if I would have lasted long. Like I literally, like, I was meant to go to public is, school. I'll just say I that much. I can remember enough of the kids that I That's know. All like a significant portion of my high school class voted for Trump, unironically. I was looking for a quote. That's the best I can find. Yeah, like that's that's pretty much what I remember. Um, like again, very happy to hear someone that high in ranking in that organization say something. Um, but. I haven't really seen anything come of it yeah. yet. Um, of course I say that's... yet a bit, hopefully. Um, I mean, but it's one the of the many works. holes that I think would need to be filled for me to want to be ever associated with that group again. That is how it works, though. He brings it up, he gets slapped down, he brings it up yeah. again, it gets slapped down a little less forcefully, and then eventually it's accepted years later. Yeah. But you I, know, I think that, like, there's... there's... As a time scale, though, it's not great. There's too many holes in the sinking ship for me to want to be part of it. You know what I mean? Like, 
organized religion is just not at the end of the day it's going to get corrupt maybe from within maybe from without but it's just it has too much influence over the lives and beliefs of people that it it cannot sustain its purity yeah. and like 100 percent fully respect people who that is a very big part of their lives i like again would never tell someone that like they're doing anything the wrong way when it comes to stuff like that because whatever makes you happy in that sense is what you should be doing yeah I mean, and i'm super deep like you know i feel like no one in here at the very least uh would be like no you're doing it wrong <laughs> you know like because that is something that's also very pretentious about some people who are religious they'll tell other re- religious people from different religions it's like oh you should come to this one it's like, yeah that's no yeah, you know, let them do what they're gonna do dog come on i don't want to yeah that's that's the thing i'm always afraid of when i like i don't want to be one of those atheists you know <laughs> like oh, okay so yeah get rid of sam yeah. i don't want to be like you can't just be like to someone who believes in god and just be like no you don't <laughs> like you know, <laughs> no it, it doesn't work like <laughs> suddenly no like people are it's gonna like, believe well, what they're gonna believe yeah but the earth is only six thousand years old <clears throat> <laughs> what about these dinosaur fossils? Cabernet's bullshit. <laughs> when I was in high school, I watched oh, fucking the, uh, Bill Nye debated a creationist. Oh. I would love to see this. Uh, it was great. Uh, it didn't really come to that much though because the idiot. It's Bill Nye. He, he was like a weird. Yes, I, this guy. Bill, He's not gonna Bill, go that hard, Bill, right? Bill, yeah. Bill. He goes really hard modern day though. No, he he went he went pretty hard on this. Because the specific sect he was debating, they didn't believe in the past. What? Yeah, like, they didn't believe you could, like, know anything about the past, even if you were there. Like, okay, wait, wow. it was weird. All right, uh, so I think I have to take back my previous statement. I think I can tell people they're doing it wrong. Yeah. Um, I think but they're doing the it wrong. <laughs> you actually can't, because, like, they, they, like, you know what I mean? Ken Ham, that's a guy. Here we go. Bill Nye debates Ken Ham. Uh, he's the guy that built the giant Noah's, Noah's Ark in the middle of the Midwest. Uh, oh Jesus! Oh, so with, so there, with ta- oh, with taxpayer money, by the way. So uh, there is something. All right, I'm gonna watch this post podcast. Yeah, it's it's pretty long. Uh, I you might just want to look up some of the highlights, maybe. Uh, hmm. But yeah, the guy is cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Uh, he doesn't phrase. look like all anyone's really home up there, is or as many people need to be home up there as needed to operate. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Why did they include twelve minutes of pre-show in the fucking YouTube video? I don't know. That's the full on. Un- was it a stream thing, though? So like, yeah, it was streamed, and then oh, was, that's why they also recorded because it's just a bot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but the guy is just friggin. His name is Ham. <laughs> His name is Ham. <laughs> but yeah, he just. Oh, like... Tony, you need to not say the things that pop in your head sometimes, but what? I kind of want to. So, like, is he not allowed to have sex on Fridays? <laughs> what? No meat on Fridays. Only during Lent. The during Lent, you don't, you can't have meat on Fridays. His last name's Ham. Can't get out of you can still have sex. But his name's Ham. Oh. Uh, you can't. Yeah, John Ham. Tell me, you wouldn't bang John Ham on a Friday? I, Kyle, <laughs> what a part of agnostic don't you understand? <laughs> oh John Ham is welcome here anytime he pleases. <laughs> 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 it's like Kyle, I'm the wrong person to say that I wouldn't be open to a John Ham experience or a John Ham sandwich. Also. <laughs> John Ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man. It doesn't have to be Tuesday either. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's just like I'm fine with you believing whatever you're believing until you're trying to infringe upon the rights or beliefs of others uh, with your yeah. beliefs. 
I feel like yeah, that's a great yeah. shot. Which place you can fuck her off, you know? You can fuck right off. That's, that's the thing that always gets me with all the friggin' like Mormons. Well, yes, but you know, just in general, the religious right in Congress, <laughs> just you know. Oh, so was it very far off? Oh, well, we just lost the Mormon demographic. You should have to justify. I, we lost those years ago, Tony. I lost those like week two, episode two, maybe three, four. I I lost it probably as soon as Kyle came on for sure, mm. though. <laughs> um, I'm I'm pretty sure we actually did have a, a Mormon talk really early on. And did I was, we? Like I just oh, went no. off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We lost. Uh, they they haven't been around, and their wife hasn't been around, and their other wife hasn't been around, and their other yeah. other wife. What about, been their, around. what about their I, 17 children? I can't and... possibly understand how they can have that many wives and not be able to drink. <laughs> I mean, there's that. There's the fact that... <laughs> I think The Simpsons had a good joke about this. Welcome to the, uh, G- the Church of Latter-day Saints, America's most respectable cult. <laughs> like, mm. yeah. Just so fucking weird, man. Like, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get Mike Pence's weird brand of Oedipal Christianism, like, it's just weird. <laughs> For lack of a better word. <laughs> Hard to agree. <laughs> like, I always, one, that's one of the things that always, like, uh, got me. Is, like, he's just a weird, like, he was so weird, but Trump was even weirder, so he meant his weirdness kind of slipped by. <laughs> They're weird in, like, different ways, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, Trump was just like the weird old creepy guy who like you is you know is like looking at underage women. Oh. Um and Pence is like the weird creepy guy that you know is looking at no, <laughs> Um Yeah, but the difference is Pence goes into the bathroom afterwards and hits himself with a whip. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know. It just like I, I I just don't get how you can be that brand of weird, you know? I It's probably better that you don't get it. <laughs> if you got it, I think that would be an issue. You know what? That's fair. I will accept that. Um, it's like You only need like five seconds of this, but it's hilarious. <laughs> You'll notice. Is it like the first five? Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. Many people believe Joseph. Dum, 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 dum. I like that saying dum, 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 dum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the whole South Park thing of the Mormons. <laughs> they like talking about the Mormons so much, they made a Broadway play about it. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Called the Book of Mormon. Have you guys seen the Book of Mormon? Because, like, I, I actually do eventually want to. I no. hate musicals, so I never... I it. like musicals. And I don't know why I like musicals. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Like, there are, like, I, for most of my life, I liked, um, a West Side Story. Like, I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's rad. All right, I like it, I like it. But then later years, I am like, all right, what's this Rent thing about? Oh. Oh. I like Rent. Okay. Okay, hold up. The Broadway show or the movie? Because if it's the movie, I have to send you a video. I actually did like the movie as well. I am now going to link you a video. So please send me a video. I will again watch this as soon as the. Oh, again, I have a queue going now, boys. Let's go. <laughs> this is what I like to from, see. It's from the YouTuber I mentioned earlier. She's. I like her a lot. You might not. Oh, <laughs> uh, like if it's pointing out flaws and stuff, there are many flaws. I liked the yeah. songs. Um. If it's about any like continuity movie, there really yeah, it's isn't more about, any. It's more about the story and the style than about the actual songs. Yeah, I liked the the songs in the movie. Uh, the movie itself was pretty bad. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I already know I'm gonna like it. Cool. Um, it's I, actually fun fact. That's the YouTube video that taught me what I should have learned in high school about Reagan and the AIDS crisis. Oh. Well. Context. But anyway, yeah. back to more fun topics. Like, um, uh, I like Phantom the Opera. Again, horrible movie. Do you like the songs? Um, I liked The Greatest Showman. Decent movie. Hey, well, that one was okay. 
like, like but by mostly like the songs. Um, I watched. Oh, it's another musical with Hugh Jackman in it, and I forget what it's called. Les Mis. Jackman. Le Les Mis. Les Mis. Oh, Les Mis. <laughs> yeah, movie. Not good. Not a good movie. The songs are interesting. Didn't care for the songs as much. I really, um, really no, like the Javert uh, death scene. Um, the most unneeded sound effect in movie history. Did you also see the, the Netflix 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 review? No, I just <laughs> saw it, and that's what I uh, have said since. See, so, Lay Miz, great book. Uh, okay, musical, I guess. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but I stayed. The movie, I actually oh. I hated for the most part. Everybody hated on Russell Crowe, and I actually kind of like I th I thought he was a good choice. He was fun. Whole... Yeah. Well, everybody makes fun of the fact that he can't really sing like the rest of the cast, but like his ca that kind of fits the character he's yeah. playing. You know, like Javert is out of place amongst the rest of them. Yeah, I like I I'm fine with his character. He's like the character that I like actually in I uh, the movie. I'm like, oh, actually, I like him. Like, his uh, morality kind of makes sense. Like, his morality is, this is how I've known things. This is how I always knew things. Uh, oh, my, uh, I now understand that this is wrong, and I'm going to go kill myself now. Uh, no, please don't. Uh, anyway. That's what that's what he does, though. And, like, that. that's that's literally yeah, his yeah, I know. thing all, um, <laughs> you know, summed up in, like, a very, 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 very simplified... Uh, dried down version um yeah i just i'm not a musical guy i like disney musicals there are one or two i, I like anti-musicals like like the blue like you ever see the blues brothers love the blues brothers i my uh my cousin actually once wrote for a college uh college course how that's technically a musical and i kind of agree but it's not like a traditional musical the songs are actually part of the movie you know like yeah um i Growing up, I actually hated musicals. Like, I, I didn't... So, like, I know, it. like, I'm a hypocrite, but, like, I did not enjoy the Disney take on musicals. And by that, I mean, I just had an irrational hatred for breaking out song in song mid-sentence. Oh, when I, I still don't like those kinds. I like the ones that are a bit more, like... I don't care. Okay, I like some. I'll, I like some of them. I'll, that, that was a lie. Modern like, day, though, I I do like have an appreciation for them now. But like, it was just when I was younger. I'm like, why did I? I don't know why. It just bugged me so much that I'm like, why are you though. singing right now? They're, yeah. Why is like, everyone dancing with you? What? Because they don't have other content to do. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? There's only so much you can give to a child. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> like Aladdin did. It. Yeah, I think a lot in like a lot of trolls. Like some never of saw trolls. Oh, it had JT in it, Tony. I have a hard time <laughs> the, watching what, um, fucking... like the trolls movie. Yeah. Oh. Oh. God. Oh, the guy. I I realize I love him, but I still don't think I would watch it. My, my, <laughs> I have, oh no! I have two little cousins who are both girls who were super into that movie for what seemed like ten years of my life. <laughs> I've seen Cars two an unhealthy amount of times. Unfortunately. It's oh my god! I can't watch such that a bad movie. movie. I have a very personal story about that movie. Always makes me burst out in laughter, but it's for a very inappropriate reason. <laughs> hmm. Oh god! Hello, cat. Welcome uh, back to my room. Yeah, like he's like, why is it so clean in here? <laughs> he's wondering why the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> because it is clean in here. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't like like traditional Broadway musicals. Like, my my family was trying to get me to watch Hamilton because I, they said I, it's I different, did. it's rap, and I'm like, okay. I actually like, really liked Hamilton. Do they still pause honest. the story every five minutes to sing? <laughs> um, yeah, they do, and that's like that's always what has bugged me about most musicals. I enjoy the story, not like necessarily, so, and I don't. I don't. Hamilton is a little different, but it's still the same copy and paste formula realistically the main difference is that i think rap works a little bit better as like a half song 
if yeah. you know what I mean. Well, the thing the thing that always bugged me about musicals is I I read a lot. I enjoy the nuance of a story. I enjoy the nuance of acting. And musicals don't really have a ton of nuance in them. There are examples that do, but for the most part, they bring across emotion instead of but not really through acting, through the singing and the dancing and, yeah. and the pausing to tell you what the character is feeling in that moment. And that just kind of annoys me. It's like, I, I can already pick up from context, I don't need you to pause for five minutes and sing a song. Yeah, again, it's... Um, I I, guess so. No. <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't have a response to that, uh, uh, so fair uh, enough. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> um, I... Like, I, I think maybe it's just because I go in to musicals, like, with a different mindset than I would go into, like, a movie or, like, a book or anything with. Like, I can kind of just, like, I I, kind of, I don't know. I just kind of sit there and enjoy it. Yeah, that's um, fine. Like, I think it, it depends on, I don't know, it depends on the way you like to watch stuff, I think, and how, you, how things affect you. It's just personally, I don't know, I'd rather, I, like... I, I have literally some musicals, I swear to God, I to watch them, I have, I fast forward through the songs. <laughs> it's some, like... Hamilton, like, for example, um, I think, like, reveals a lot of plot through the songs. Um, other than stopping to tell you how this character feels a lot. So, uh, Hamilton is one of the better, like, if you were forced to, if, like, I, if you... Like, if you were forced to be strapped into a chair and watch a musical, I probably would put Hamilton on. I put on Dr. Horrible's. Oh, Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog is this better. Yeah, you're right. Um, but, like, a full length. Um, I will say, I actually did, like, uh, what is it? I watched Sweeney Todd once, and I actually did like that one. Yeah, I mean, like, there are certain things, but, uh, like, yeah, Hamilton um, conveys a lot, like, of the story through the song, but, like... With the style of the music, there are a lot of, like, I almost call them half songs. Where, because it's, like, rap, the flow of conversation kind of yeah, can it's be less... translated through it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I've seen clips. They, yeah. it's, they're rapping, but they're also talking. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not... I understand what you're trying to say. It's hard to put into words, but I... I, I have no idea what you're trying to say. to say. It's... They're not fully... See, the problem is, a lot of times, like, it's hard to musicals, like. For me they're to in the scene, and then the music starts, and then they're dancing and uh, jumping around, and like this, and then they go back to the scene. In Hamilton, they're half in, half out of the scene, where like they're still in the scene talking. It's just they also happen to be rapping too. Mom spaghetti. Yeah, so like, yeah, that's why I was almost calling them like half songs. Like that's that's Me like how like Mom's in my head it like makes Mom's sense. Spaghetti. You only know the hey, month's spaghetti you, one, don't you? Mile is a great movie. I said, I said, knees weak, palms are sweaty. Yeah, okay. And Mom's then you spaghetti. said mom's spaghetti about five <laughs> times. <laughs> Not three times, thank you. Yeah, okay. Wow. I have to say, for a movie about himself, that movie know, has no better. right being that good. Like, Oh, Eight Mile was actually really good. Eight Mile is I so eight mile. good. And the fact that it doesn't come across as like a, as like a vanity project is impressive to me. No, it's actually good in like... Um, like, like it's hard to see... watch someone play themselves in a movie, basically. And he did it so well. But he does like, it really well. <laughs> yeah. Took, well, what I find surprising is he managed to take his own mythology and make a movie about it. Yeah. Like you know, it's all about the come up, but he managed to do it without seeming like, like like a totally arrogant jackass. <sighs> oh, Kyle, I wonder if this is exactly now what just popped in my head. It's, it's, it's Evan trying to sing it. It's like my friends that went to golf course for Catherine's birthday one year. Okay, I I need to watch this after. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> I actually I have the longest queue of things to watch after this episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd like an a, and not in a bad video. way. Yeah, that one's gonna be fast, so I'll probably do that one like ASAP. Um, but uh. <laughs> it started playing. One uh, opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? 
He fucks yeah. it up and forgets all the words. This is why it's funny. But uh, oh, okay. It's just, uh, yeah, he gets up there to sing it and then just forgets. Because like, he was kind of drunk with like the rest of us, and he wasn't yeah. supposed to be playing music that night. But then he's oh. going up. Yeah. He just did his. He's like, I'm, I'm music man. I'm gonna go up here anyway. <laughs> well, we, need, we need the two guys, right? So. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, slightly unpopular rap opinion. I actually think the Eminem song uh, "Till I Collapse" is gets across is a much better song than "Lose Yourself." Uh, Rap God. That was actually. Till I Collapse is very good. Um, Yeah. uh, Rap God's very good as well. Uh, Rap God was Eminem uh, being like. like, Basically saying, like, fuck you guys, I can still do this. uh, Yeah, yeah, literally. (laughs) You're coming for my throne, I'm still sitting here, bitch. By the way, just because I don't do this style every song, I can still rap this fast and better than you could ever. Well, hell, yeah. he, still, he was still pulling that shit out with the fucking kill shot the other year. Where oh my, I loved kill shot. Ke- Kelly enters the chat. Eminem exits the chat. Slim Shady has entered the chat. I didn't know until mm-hmm. I collapse was, chat. but now I do. I yeah, until I collapse is a good song. It's yeah. it's a very good song. Um, I think like Eminem songs are kind of hard to like rank for me because "Lose Yourself" I think like obviously probably is his most famous song. I mean, like I know, like my name is is close. The real some shady is probably close. Without me, might be close. Definitely, yeah. but like, um, yeah, like lose Stan yourself also. though. Stan stands really good, uh, and Stan is one of more really popular songs. But I think lose yourself though is definitely the most mainstream song he's ever done, um, because you know he made it with the movie, right? So. Yeah. And it won various awards, uh, but like I think like if you go through a lot of his music, like I struggle finding find to find Eminem songs that I don't like, and that is crazy for me. Yeah, like Eminem, I like, I usually find like like an album I usually like like half the songs in an album of any band, and like. There are certain for me, like I'm like there are the songs that I like immediately. There are songs I like after a few listens to, and there's the songs I like for like a year or two later for no reason, and I just start liking them. That's usually like how it works for me. Um, but okay. Eminem's music is just usually always great. The thing for me is I hate it. I almost like I hate being so stereotypical, but he is how I got into rap and hip hop, and I kind of hate it because it's like <laughs> it's it's the most stereotypical white young white guy thing is like oh yeah i got into eminem that's how i got into you know hip-hop and fucking rap instead of he's just good though i mean that's the thing he's one of the what top five easily top five rappers of all time like it it really just depends on where you put criteria at um i mean like lyrically he is just operating on such a level that like even people that hate him kind of have to like respect you know yeah it, it like it also like to me to, like if you're talking about greatest rappers of all time, it, it's hard because like a lot of people will put obviously Tupac and Biggie at the top of their list, but Biggie Tupac Smash. and Biggie did Biggie not Smash. get to do it for as long as uh, like you wish they could have because yeah. of obviously them passing away. Um, so Eminem has had a lot longer longevity, but the music they did put out in their time was is some of the greatest rap music yeah. of all time. I mean, yeah. If can't... not the greatest of all time. Like, I always give... one song that I would like from them? Uh, yeah, I, I, plus podcast, probably. Okay. I mean, I have more experience listening to Tupac than Biggie, but I'm sure Biggie also has. Either of them, I'm okay. Um, okay. I just, yeah. uh, I haven't, I, I haven't, I don't care for that kind of music normally, so... Okay. So. Um... Oh, I yeah. Keep I would, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look through just because I also would have to have you yeah, in mind I, while I don't, looking. Yeah, I haven't really listened. I haven't. I I always feel bad that I haven't listened to too much like old school stuff. Like I mostly listen to the, like more recent yeah. stuff. I mean, but that's also just a product of where the generation you came out in, right? Like, yeah. Also, I think like like so you guys probably also this like sort of agree. Like you have to give a lot of credence to someone like a Dr. Dre, who oh, yeah. maybe oh, yeah. he, like, whether he loves his music or not, the yeah, pure that. impact <laughs> that he has had on that genre of music is absolutely insane. 
right? Because like he was the brain behind NWA. And his reach has gone as far as Fifty well, Cent. Yeah, he's the well, he's the one that discovered Eminem. He discovered Eminem. Helped, yeah, like, helped get him big. Yeah, because like. well, well, yeah, because basically there, it goes. Dr. Dre discovered Eminem. Eminem sort of discovered Fifty Cent. Yeah. But Dr. Dre was working on all of their music. Yeah. yeah. Eminem would not have been anywhere near he is without Dr. Dre, and he oh, hell, obviously yeah. would tell everyone that a million times. Yeah, he won't. And he has. Yeah. Like, you, do you have you heard the song? I need a doctor before. <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines from Kill Shot. It's like, you're yeah. working with P. Diddy. I, I'm still working with Dre. Like, yeah. fuck you. You know, like... Yeah. And, like, it, it again, it depends on what classification you consider greatness. Because do you consider greatness as they had the best songs or that they because like you would could argue that snoop dogg is probably one of the most successful crossover rappers of all for t- of all time and by that i mean uh like he's been how in he's in everything <laughs> you know what i mean he literally is in everything you name a thing bro i think he's been in it <laughs> yeah. that's, not a, that's so, not like a burn on him or just, yeah he, he was able to his reach out, is like, that far you know what i mean like yeah. he was able to cross end and transcend uh these industries right so again it's like yeah maybe like soup dog never to me like obviously and there's gonna be people like who 100 percent disagree music is how you interpret it of course um soup dog has always been his name has been bigger than his music to me um and yeah, that's about right and that, that's that's not he yeah right like you hear Snoop Dogg you're like all right I'm interested what's going on or right, what is he doing right now I I pro I will always take a minute or two to listen to what he's doing right now I yeah <laughs> okay let's listen I saw, this, I saw this great exchange where it was like it was that meme uh, so was anybody gonna tell me blank or was I gonna f- figure it out for myself because like people <laughs> forget that he was on trial for murder at one point like mm. he was like it, I always find it funny how his rep went from the most dangerous motherfucker around to, you know, the Hot Pockets ad with Martha Stewart. Yeah, I was going to say two commercials with Martha Stewart. Yeah, I was going to, yeah. Um, yeah, he's done one, like, sort of Kyle's alluding to, one hell of a marketing job. Uh-huh. Um, like, on his career, whoever, if, whether it's him, uh, the team he has hired, have done absolutely amazing work. Um, but Kyle, I'm excited to look through... See, I wonder, though, I'm trying to figure out what kind of... It's hard to know what kind of style of you'll like, because I think it would be easier for me to find a certain Tupac song um, that I think is a really, really good song, but I don't know... If Kyle is gonna like it, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's funny though; it always takes me a while to get into some songs, even if it's just like, like I'm only I only now, like in the past few months, just started listening to like Sicko Mode and some of the stuff off Astro World. Even mm. though that that was big, literally like what three years ago. So like. I wonder if people would like disagree with me over this song choice. When I was... Um, but I'm gonna pick this one for Kyle. Um, do you prefer a music video or a lyric video, Kyle? Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm listening to it and really watching it, right? Sure. I'm gonna pick this one. Um, You'll probably be like, all right, Tony, you picked the wrong one. But I picked Dear Mama by Tupac. Um, I I like this song. I... Tupac had a, a lot of... A lot of meaning to me in his lyrics. Um, so that's one thing that I'll, I'll say for sure. Um, I do. I am excited to actually re-listen to this because it's been a very long time since I've gotten. It's really fucking. Yeah. You, you asked for a good song, so I picked a good song. <laughs> you said I want a song that I would like by them, and I think this is like a widely great song that people like by him. Um. 
But yeah, so while I give Kyle the music recommendation, uh, you guys will have to figure out whether Kyle will like this song or not on the next episode. Kyle, on the next episode of Background Noise. So thank you all for watching. We will catch you next time. And can we get some pickle weasels in the chat, please? Ah, uh, sex. Like, so I had to tap back. And okay. And what memes? What are those memes and bags? Huh. And they don't stop. And see you next time. Peace.